Okay, uh, so firstly, uh, I would like to say thanks to uh, Prof at uh, the NCA, Prof Rashid, and then uh, Prof Fong from Pusat e Pembelajaran UMS dan uh, semua yang hadir petang ini. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, saya Ayu Afika binti Nasrullah daripada uh, Pusat Persediaan Sains dan Teknologi. Okay, merupakan penyelaras uh, kursus kimia uh, asasi sains UMS. Okay, hari ini saya akan berkongsi uh, pengalaman mengendalikan peperiksaan akhir uh, secara atas talian. Baiklah, so ini adalah petikan akhbar mengenai seorang pelajar okay, yang memanjat pokok okay, untuk mendapatkan internet connection yang lebih baik. Uh, pelajar tersebut bernama Viviana Musibin okay, yang merupakan pelajar asasi sains UMS. Okay, uh, selain Viviana, terdapat juga uh, beberapa pelajar uh, PTSD yang juga mempunyai masalah uh, talian internet seperti yang dihadapi oleh uh, Vivi sendiri, Viviana sendiri. So uh, the story begin due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. So face to face uh, final examination seems to be impossible. So online examination is an alternative to replace the normal uh, face to face examination. And through the experience of online class and assignment during MCO and the concern on mark, uh, paper marking for 252 students of uh, PPST. So um, the decision uh, to have a uh, final examination as an online uh, is decided through Mashwarat JK Academic PPSD. So after taking um, all the consideration and final examination for semester two, 2019-2020 for Foundation of Science was held on uh, 9th June 2020 until 30th June 2020. So this is what we did before uh, the online exam. Okay, first, what we did is, uh, is a survey form. Okay, uh, we asked the student about their access to internet and their readiness towards the online exam. Then uh, we also reduced the, uh, we did a percentage uh, adjustment for online final exam, which we reduced from uh, the initial is 35% to 20%. Okay, and uh, we decided, we determined the duration of the exam is um, maximum four hours. Okay, because the normal uh, examination for uh, Asasi Science is three hours. So we extend it to four hours, uh, taking consideration of uh, internet um, stability for the students. Okay, uh, the platform we use for this online exam is uh, Google Form. And we divided into um, three separate links. Okay, and the format of the exam is um, MCQ, and then uh, structured, and also um, file upload. So file upload, uh, especially for chemistry, uh, they have to um, draw a chemical structure, to write a synthesis pathway, to um, explain a mechanism so uh, file upload uh, is used for that kind of question where student needs to um, write their answer in a piece of paper uh, take a picture and upload in the google form all right and then a uh, setting for the google form uh, we think of the setting um, that all question are required to answer so it means students have to answer all the question they cannot skip and then uh, shuffle the order of question uh, shuffle the order of answer for uh, especially for MCQ. And then uh, only using um, um, UMS email for logging. Okay, um, st and student will receive a copy of their answer as a proof of uh, success submission. Okay, uh, we also provide um, early announcement to the students so that they will be ready. We provide uh, infographic and. Also, um, we did run test. So I hide this one. Okay, run test for the Google Forms. So um, all the lecturer will um, 
together, uh, we sit and try to answer the question to see if there is any uh, technical error or technical problem before we really release this um, link to the student. Right. So here's a, uh, from the survey. Um, so list of the student that have um, limited internet access. Okay. Okay, yang ini tata cara peperiksaan yang diberi sebelum peperiksaan jalankan beberapa minggu sebelum. So arahan umum apa yang pelajar perlu lakukan, apa yang dia perlu uh, bersedia. Dan ini tata, contoh tata cara bagi kursus um, kimia SK0024. So kursus kimia um, kami menyediakan tiga pautan yang berbeza lah. Ada, dan totalnya adalah tiga jam. So here during the uh, online exam, so what we did is um, kita menyediakan empat uh, WhatsApp group. So itu mengikut kuliah lah sebab uh, di asasi ada empat group kuliah. So setiap group uh, lebih kurang 60 orang pelajar okay, dalam satu group WhatsApp tu dan dikendalikan oleh um, dalam setiap group WhatsApp ini juga uh, ada pensyarah-pensyarah uh, bagi setiap subjek. Okay, untuk um, membantu pelajar sekiranya ada masalah uh, dan juga um, the link to the file, uh, to the online exam uh, will be released to students five minute five minutes before uh, the exam started okay and before new links are released there are 10 minutes break for the lecturer to access uh, to check the attendance so uh, selepas habis satu link student uh, sudah menjawab kami break 10 minutes untuk check semua 252 tu uh, pelajar menghantar respon mereka. Okay kalau macam ada yang tidak hantar kami akan directly contact that student lah to see if there is uh, problems. Okay. So here's the challenge uh, during online exam. Okay um, first is Handling student inquiries. So semasa exam itu terdapat pelbagai pertanyaan uh, daripada pelajar. Um, antaranya macam seperti yang inilah masalah UMS ID. Ada pelajar yang lupa uh, dia punya password. Uh, jadi kalau pelajar yang lupa password ataupun ada pelajar yang tidak dapat masuk ke Google Form kita dia tidak dapat akses. Uh, bila ditanya rupanya dia tidak menggunakan um, email UMS. Ha, yang tu kami maklumkan untuk guna email UMS dan juga yang bagi pelajar tidak dapat uh, membuka link yang lupa password kami ada sediakan backup link yang uh, open uh, tidak restricted to uh, UMS email dan ada juga pelajar yang tidak dapat melihat gambar daripada soalan okay. uh, suggestion kami kepada mereka adalah to refresh or to use other device. Maybe if they use laptop, they can try to use handphone. Or if they use handphone, maybe they can try to use laptop. Okay. Um, some students uh, did comment that they failed to submit the answer. Maybe because of internet uh, stability. Masalah internet, so we will give a backup link to the student to resubmit the answer. And uh, other technical issues like uh, unstable internet connection and uh, the hari yang uh, blackout I think masa paper uh, fizik ada black, uh, berlaku blackout jadi pelajar tidak dapat uh, mempunyai masalah di situlah. Okay. So what we've learned, so above all the challenges, Alhamdulillah the student attendance 100% uh, for all subjects. So semua 252 pelajar menghadiri peperiksaan akhir secara uh, atas talian dan semua menghantar uh, respon uh, jawapan. And the internet uh, line start to have problems starting 10.30 onwards to 10.30 ke atas kita nampak pelajar start ada uh, masalah uh, untuk menghantar jawapan because of the peak consumption kan that time. Um, would be good if we have our own online platform uh, for online exam platform in the future and integrity is a part and parcel of online exam. Trust is the key and current students um, onwards are born in year 2000 so whether they like it or not online thing is uh, meant to be a millennial generation. The millennial generation. Okay. 
So ini adalah um, situasi uh, kami uh, semasa peperiksaan akhir yang berlaku secara online. Okay, kami berkumpul di bilik meeting untuk sama-sama uh, mengatasi masalah-masalah uh, teknikal lah. Okay. Uh, paper pertama adalah paper uh, subjek kimia. Okay. Dan ini gambar-gambar pelajar yang um, menghad menghadapi peperiksaan akhir. Nampak macam happy je semua. <laughs> okay. Saya so, itu saja daripada saya. Terima kasih.